Welcome to Brainsplain, where I explain about the brain. I report on the latest mental health research, and I also talk to the people that the research means the most to, patients and the public affected by the findings. People in vulnerable communities can have strong opinions about authorities using chemical restraints. You shouldn't have to use a chemical restraint to get somebody down. That police officer, this young man right here, might not have even reacted to the officer in that way at all if he had been so aggressive. Exactly. Scientific investigators hoped to find out if the drug ketamine could be used as a chemical restraint, and this was done without the patient's consent. The Minneapolis police apparently urged the use of ketamine even when sedation need was unclear. Let's take a closer look at why police and paramedics on the one hand and patients on the other would have different priorities when it comes to chemical restraints. The police and paramedics giving the drugs knew exactly what they were giving. In the first three months, all patients deemed agitated were given the antipsychotic Haldol or Haloperidol. In the next six months, all agitated patients were given ketamine, the dissociative. In this study, ketamine sedated patients three times faster than Haldol, a major benefit from the point of view of police and paramedics who would want to sedate a potentially violent person. But patients might have had another opinion because of the side effect profile. 39% of the people given this drug within an, an encounter with the police had to be intubated to put in their throat to help them breathe. It's worth noting that a disproportionate number of the patients in the study were African American. Let's hear from some of the people with the most at stake. African Americans in Minneapolis who've had unpleasant encounters with the police. That's just wrong, you know, giving somebody a shot not knowing what it is, then it's a then it's a chemical on top of that, you know, I mean, it could kill a person. That's just bad. Yeah, if, if, if the police were to give me a fake diagnosis uh, or give me some type of drug, it wouldn't surprise me at all. I mean, they, they do it all the time. It's part of the system. I think it's unconstitutional to give something that should be a prescribed drug in the first place. Okay, I can't tase you, the paramedic saying. So This is riskier, though. That without people's consent, it's usually... just look at it, fair. though. I, okay. can't, I can't tase you. But listen, let me use a chemical restraint on you so I can calm you down. The police are big guys. They can arrest people. You get five guys, you can just surround somebody, arrest them. You don't have to put, put the guy's life in danger if you're arresting somebody. But I still think that the restraints is necessary. Do you think it's necessary to inject somebody with a shot in order to arrest them? Yes! It's not, it's not, it's not right. Now you've heard about the research, and you've heard from people in the community affected by the research. What do you think? I'm Morgan Campbell, and this is Brainsplain.